Sir, this proceeding goes live and therefore ensure that there is no technical problem. <laughs> Now the, the Lord said, my the meeting is in order. I request the Leonard Advocate General to open, open the reference. Yes, sir. Preserved 
by history, by its precious heritage, and we see and feel its luminous reflections in the paramount law of this country, the Constitution of India. Justice Rahim was one who could always successfully capture the spirit to which will deciding constitutional issues involving in cases that came up for, for his decision. In his famous Philadelphia address, referring to liberty, Abraham Lincoln has said, in due to times, the weights, the weights could be the, the weights would be lifted from the shoulders of all men, and that all should be should have equal equal chance. Justice Rahim always very eloquent, very eloquent about his concept of equal chance for all, and he believed that equal chance to all was the very essence of democracy. This ardent belief and desire he always carried on his bosom, and we said to its glory that. He, and in his lively discussions in the courtrooms, as well as his public speeches, he found his magnificent expressions. He was always concerned about the anguish, agony, and tribulations of the common man, the poor, the lowly, and the deprived, and always acted keeping within the parameters permitted law to eliminate their suffering. That, that makes him one of the rare and powerful spokesmen judge for social justice. That continuous and persistent efforts he made in this regard, as executive chairman of Kelsa, even moderately stated, is more he is memorable. Today, Justice Rahim is going out of the portals of this great institution, leaving behind the significant contributions he has made to the growth and development of law, thereby finding his for, for himself the respective and reverential place in the mind of and soul of not, not merely of the legal community, but the people at large. He was involved in several spheres of public life. But above all, posterity will revaluate him as a crusader for him, for human rights and social justice. During his tenure of about 11 years as a judge of this court, many path-breaking decisions had been rendered with providing eloquent testimony for his brilliance and high intellectual erudition, coupled with unparalleled and new forensic skill and analytical mind. He was well versed in all branches of law. His intellectual sharpness fully matched his deep learning and wider vision. In his exit, it is one of the most erudite and perfect gentleman judge who is has imbibed in each molecule of his being a constitution value, uh, being his constitution, being the constitution values and the source of this country that is leaving us. Honorable Justice Rahim, you are now parting from us at, at the time when we with the rest of the humanity, he is, he is confronting a crisis, unprecedented in human history. This was a time when this state and its people could, uh, could not have afforded, afforded to do a dynamic and visionary judge like you, a judge who knows to, how, to, how to modulate justice and the, and, and, and the ways and law according to the inevitable and demanding necessities of time and the call of the collective conscience of the community. In these moments of parting, we honor you with all our hearts and extend you the warmest of our good and good wishes for the many more years of prolific, fruitful, and creative life engaged in the service of this country and its people. Honorable Justice Sikhi Rahim, Abdul Rahim, in this juncture, I, on behalf of the lawyer of the state, and on my own behalf, bid you farewell and wish you many more years of happy, creative, and fruitful life. Wife Justice Rahim, Srimad Asira Rahim is happily with us today. At this moment, we wish her also well. Now, I request Mr. Lakshmi Narayanan, President of the Kerala High Court Bar Association, Advocates Association, to deliver his uh, speech. My Lord, Honorable the Chief Justice. What do you under? Solicitor General, respected former judges, Sri and Sukunapalan, President of the Kerala High Court Senior Advocate Association, Srimati S.K. Devi, the President of the Kerala Federation of Women Lawyers, Law Office of the Union and its State, respected senior advocates, lawyer friends, Registrar General, and other registrars of this Honorable Court, the family members of the Honorable Justice C.K. Abdul Rahim, Advocate Clerk, Staff of this court, ladies and gentlemen. Today, 
the bench and the bar are resembled here to bid farewell to a distinguished judge my lord justice ck abdul rahim who is demitting office after a long and fruitful tenure of 11 years the reference is arranged in a novel manner adopting the technology of live telecast with a firm resolve to prevent the novel corona virus spread we the members of the bar are extremely delighted to see that this honorable court is functioning by adopting modern technologies like video conferencing for dispensation of justice to uphold the rule of law even during the lockdown adversities resulted on account of the pandemic we thank the honorable chief justice and the companion judges for leading role played in this regard after taking lawyers into confidence it is heartening to note that this has been appreciated even by the national media visual and print our nation nay the world is in halt the panic and agony caused by the pandemic still subsist in fact we can't afford to say goodbye to a beloved judge in this turbulent times especially when we are in dire need of his lordship guidance novel prize winner chilean poet pablo neruda in his poem keeping quiet contemplated a situation where we would all be together in a sudden strangeness and keep still for once on the face of the earth recent poem title are you alone written by sri venkat ramani senior advocate supreme court of india reflect the fragile fragility of the life and the gravity of lockdown solitude i caught few lines are you alone with your heart beats in secret whispers of rhymes and meters beyond languages without vowels and consonants inviting to attention new beyond the fringed motions of yesterday the dark winds of your mind lay to rest fret not to open the new doors of being mere parting time longing of all loved ones all full time pastures of your mind in quest always thronging now in halt beyond low and the rights close close for sure without a wing the fences the borders the lines the shadows the weapons the armors the ages of copper bronze and iron of the mind of all noises of petty looms in silence you learn that dead you were in the past and resurrections are at the call for all unquote this reference will go on records of the history of this honorable court as a novel one and it will be recorded that in spite of the freeze of despair and uncertainty do the numbers from the legal fraternity participated in this reference to bid farewell to our gentle sober soft spoken ever pleasant and beloved judge the ideal that would justify the expected of a judge both on and off the bench has been succinctly and elegantly indicated by sri v sudesh pai an accomplished lawyer and jurist in his book constitutional supremacy a revisit after elaborating the qualities of a great judge he says i caught the desideratum and substance of all this is that a judge should do nothing that they would not like to be done unto them and which they did not like being meted out to them when they were at the bar unquote he went on to add that the essential attribute of judicial integrity is passion for justice informed by deep and abiding morality apart from the commonly attributed concept of honesty and uprightness sri duga das basu in one of his tagore law lectures observed i quote it goes without saying that a court cannot claim to be respected unless its individual members can command respect and confidence of the people unquote my lord justice abdul rahim undoubtedly command both in plenty members of the bar regardless of their seniority found it comfortable to present their cases up before his lordship his lordship is known for his social commitment and always acted in the interest of society at large his lordship performance as chairman of legal service authority abundantly reveals his concerns and care for the poor needy downtrodden and the marginalized service rendered by his lordship during the times of crisis especially during devastating floods and the present pandemic to the public at large are worth mentioning his lordship judgments are the best testimony of his erudition legal acumen and mastery over variety of subject i had the opportunity to closely associate with his lordship during the clean high court mission 2020 
I was surprised to know about the in-depth knowledge his lordship has about the environment related issues. Though retiring, my lord will reign in our hearts. As Vedas proclaim, the quest for awareness, the search for answers and the journey towards self-realization never ceases. As written by Robert Sprott in his poem, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening, my lord, you have miles and miles to go before you sleep. We earnestly hope that your lordship future endeavors will contribute much in the service of humanity. We, the members of the bar, wish your lordship peace, happiness, good health, and all success in future endeavors. Thanking you all, Jai Hind. Now, may I request your lordship sitting at residence to deliver the speech? Yes. Honorable Brother Justice Abdul Rahim, Srimati Nasira Rahim, my esteemed Mahi. brother and sister judges, Sri CP Sudhakar Prasad, Learned Advocate General. Sri R. Rashminarana, learned advocate and president of the Kerala High Court of Education. Sri Srimati S. K. Devi, learned advocate and president of the Kerala Federation of Women Lawyers, honorable retired judges of Kerala High Court, respected senior advocates, my dear junior advocates. Registrar General and other Registrars of High Court of Kerala, Staff of Kerala High Court, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to all. On attaining superannuation today, Honorable Justice Abdul Rahim is being given a favor through video conferencing. On this occasion, it is my duty to express my sincere thanks to all my esteemed brother and sister judges who have agreed for this arrangement, particularly the tireless honorable judges in the computer committee and the staff attached who have made it successful. I have never known Brother Justice Abdul Rahim as a lawyer, but the words spoken by the learned advocate general, government of Kerala, and the president of the Advocates Association that true testimony of Brother Justice Rahim's erudite knowledge and dedicated dedication to the profession. When there was a proposal for appointing me as the Chief Justice of this court, it was Justice Rahim, the then acting Chief Justice, who spoke to me first. My association with Brother Justice Abdul Rahim is just about seven months. During this period, when a timely decision has to be taken by me, Brother Justice Abdul Rahim assisted me immediately and voluntarily. Honorable Justice Rahim was sworn in as judge of this court on 5 1 2009. Till yesterday, as a judge of this court for more than 11 years. He has disposed of 11,809 cases, single bench, 11,723 cases, division bench, and 16 cases, full bench. When the lockdown was announced to alleviate the grievance of the litigant public and other stakeholders, I requested Brother Justice Rahim and another learned judge to assist me in taking up a suo moto expedition. Brother Justice Abdul Rahim agreed immediately. Finding that our order dated 25 3, 2020 required a certain modification, I requested Brother Justice Rahim to preside over another full bench, which he also agreed. And thus, a modified order came to be issued. Judgments delivered by Honorable Justice Rahim bear testimony to his compassion to the litigants, 
and the humanitarian approach adopted by him in dealing with complicated matters. To quote a few, in Bajir was the state of Kerala and others reported in 2016, 4 KLT 677. While dealing with the Habeas Corpus petition, the Honorable Division Bench headed by Justice Rahim took up the plight of a girl named Alia Fatima, aged nine months only, who was diagnosed of having pilary atresia, for which liver transportation was the only remedy suggested, considering our critical situation. The Honorable Bench issued timely orders for providing requisite fund from the government for the liver transportation, and there was a total receipt of more than 15 lakhs from various sources. After settling the surgery expenses, there was 7 lakhs remaining, and the Honorable Division Bench directed to keep the said amount for the future treatment of the child. In eternal the judgment in Srija versus Commissioner of Police Thiruvananda and others reported in 2018, 4 KLP 644, the Honorable Division Bench, headed by Justice Rahim, considered a heavy corporate prescription and held that living relationship between the members of the same sex does not offend any provision of law and the relationship cannot be ground for keeping one of the partners in illegal confinement. Decisions of a Chief Justice of a court at the needed hour rests on the advice of the judges of the court concerned. And in this regard, I express my sincere thanks and gratitude to my brother, Honorable Justice Abdul Rahim. On the administrative side, Brother Justice Rahim has served as chairman of several committees, such as the Finance Committee, Committee for Framing High Court Rules and High Court Service Rules, Budget Committee for Subordinate Courts, Environment, Garden Committee, Library Committee for Subordinate Courts, and the Rule Committee under CPC. As a member and chairman of the above committees, Brother Justice Rahim has contributed immensely in taking important decisions and implementing the same in letter and spirit. The building committee under the chairmanship of Justice Rahim has permitted the lawyers to use a portion of the high court premises for parking their vehicles. He has proposed construction of a multi-storied annex building with 10 floors for the High Court of Kerala and the matter is under active consideration by the state government. As the president of the Kerala State Mediation and Conciliation Center, Brother Justice Abdul Rahim has inaugurated a three-day program for the community volunteers jointly organized by the Kerala State Mediation Center, thereby making all the religious groups, cultural and many stakeholders to function as volunteers to promote alternate redressal mechanism. Message conveyed by him, I quote, is community mediation will provide commoners access to justice. As I head to the Kerala State Judicial Academy, he has conducted various training programs for the judicial officers, policemen, other stakeholders. Notable event of the Kerala State Services Authority is the coordinated effort of the district administration, Kochi Chapter of Indian Medical Association and others, in creating a Guinness record in CPR training, training 28,523 students. Rendering justice in its larger sense is giving every person his or her due, said Aristotle. In my humble view, Brother Justice Rahim has followed this principle throughout his career, both on the administrative and judicial side. It is my personal view that Brother Justice Abdul Rahim is a gentleman with pleasant disposition. I believe that he has won the hearts of many in the judicial fraternity, common man, by his affable nature and amiable approach 
both on judicial and administrative side. Position has not changed him. During his tenure as judge, he was dynamic and proactive on judicial, social, cultural, and other organizational activities. Make few promises and do not fail to handle the same. Thus, I'm here. Thanks to all my brother and sister judges for this wonderful event. Brother Justice Abdul Rahim will no longer be a judge on the bench of this court. But I'm sure that his judicial service will continue to contribute in future in some other place. The legitimate expectation of a retired judge would be the presence of his kith and kin and all good-hearted persons in the court hall where farewell is given. Srimati Nazira Zahim, wife of Brother Justice Rahim is present. My regards and respects to you, Madam, kith and kin of Brother Justice Rahim and well-wishers who have gathered through video conferencing your unique farewell to Brother Justice Rahim. On behalf of the legal fraternity, I wish Brother Justice Abdul Rahim and his family members good health, happiness forever. I earnestly wish the services of Brother Justice Rahim should continue for the welfare of humanity. Thanking you all. Thank you, Brother Justice Rahim. Now, now, may I request Honorable Justice Rahim Sir, Abdul Rahim Sir, to deliver yes. the reply speech. Please, sir. Please, sir. Now, I request Honorable Justice Abdul Rahim Sir to deliver the reply speech. Good morning to one and all present here and those who are viewing this online. Honorable Mr. Justice S. Manikumar, Chief Justice of the Kerala High Court, esteemed brother judges, Honorable Mr. Justice C.T. Ravikumar, Honorable Mr. Justice A.M. Shafiq, and Honorable Mr. Justice K. Harilal, Leonard Advocate General of Kerala, Sri C.P. Sudhagara Prasad. President of the Kerala High Court Educates Association, Sri Lakshmi Narayan R. President of the Kerala Federation of Women Lawyers, Sri Madhi S.K. Devi. Sri K. Haribal, Registrar General of the High Court. My wife, Sri Madhi Nasira Rahim. All my sister and brother, they are just joining online in this program. All respected former judges of this court and all the judicial officers in the subordinate judiciary watching this program online, all officers and staff of the High Court, all senior educates, educate friends, educate clerks, family members, friends and well-wishers watching this program online, ladies and gentlemen. On this unfortunate coincidence of my date of retirement falling amidst the lockdown of the country, imposed for containment of the epidemic COVID-19 Corona novel virus. I am deeply indebted to the Honorable Chief Justice and my brother judges as well as to the registry of this court in taking pains to arrange this farewell reference, at least in a restricted manner and in making it available for the viewers online. Let me express my deep felt gratitude to the Honorable Chief Justice Leonard Advocate General and esteemed present President of the Kerala High Court Advocates Association for the kind words spoken about me, though I am afraid whether I deserve all of it. On 5th January 2009, when I was sworn in as additional judge of this court, I spoke that 
ensuring access to justice to the needy and to the poor is the greatest task which as i as a judge i have to shoulder after completing comparatively long innings of 11 years 3 months and 26 days i hope i could work to the best of my ability to achieve the set constitutional objective with the utmost sincerity and dedication it is time for you to judge me and my performances that judgment no doubt should mainly depend upon evaluation of the judgments i rendered which as a whole would come to more than 22800 in number that judgment should also necessarily be based on my contributions to the system of dispensation of justice and to the entire system of judiciary if all of you could award me 50% marks in such judgment i'll be the happiest person leaving this temple of justice with the utmost satisfaction i hope i will not be disappointed of that fervent hope the judicial system in our country having its strong framework resting on our constitution is always considered to be unique when compared to that of many other developed nations the uniqueness is on the bounden duty it has to shoulder to provide justice to the citizenry of this country in its entirety de holds all the diversities existing an assurance of absolute justice to the lowest in the lowest strata, strata of the society is the definite and ultimate goal to be achieved by the judicial system the marathon to that finishing point will have to continue tirelessly in between the system requires various boost ups the energies to be supplied are in the form of the reforms required which we usually term as modernization of the system the personal contributions to this endeavor the personal contributions to this endeavor from each one who are associated with this system is the most valuable the social obligation cast upon each of the stakeholders in the judicial system be that it a judge be that it a lawyer be that it an advocate clerk or be that it is a court staff is on a high pedestal and is more demanding in the present scenario of social setup it is time that we should be more equipped and more prepared to shoulder those obligations and to be proactive with more commitment the proactiveness from the side of the judiciary may sometimes be criticized as one transgressing its own limits but article 39a of the constitution provides the shield when it becomes the constitutional obligation that operation of the judicial system should secure promotion of justice on an equal opportunity basis the legal services rendered to the society in order to avert the denial of justice has to transgress its traditional and conventional conventional boundaries this is especially when there occurs shortfalls and failures from the executive to ensure promotion of justice which eventually result in denial of opportunities for securing justice to the downtrodden the marginalized and the oppressed evidently the proactive approach of the judicial system has proven to be complementing to the activities of the executive in promoting justice the priorities of the executive in the matter of providing welfare measures to the society has gained more realistic approach in recent times the implementation of such measures have assumed more seriousness and prop and promptness at least in some areas of bureaucratic hierarchy the fight against covid-19 pandemic illustrates an excellent instance of such dutiful and dedicated service from the bureaucracy at least from those who are in the healthcare sector definitely those who are part of the system which rose to the occasion and worked with selflessness deserves a big salute i hope that the judicial system will become more and more aware about its obligations and will continue its tireless efforts in achieving all its cherished goals in the days ahead while parting with the system i hope the system will rectify its shortfalls 
because of the strong foundation upon which it is built our constitution the system of judiciary in our state need to be given more emphasis in this scenario i can i can only be with enormous gratitude it can it can only be with enormous gratitude that we could acknowledge the blessings which draw each one of us to become part of the justice dispensation system of this state which is always ranked as the best in the country who was instrumental for the ranking we achieved it is only the eminent stalwarts who preceded us both in the bench and in the bar credit goes to the legacy which gained confidence and commanded faith of the society who considered the system as their last resort in protecting their rights and for redressing against to the wrongs the legacy which the forerunners have created has to be remembered and honored it needs to be protected in order to command continued faith and confidence in the society the legacy will become more jubilant when its stakeholders could adhere to the values morals and ethics in the professional and personal life a good judge can be evolved or rather molded only from a noble and majestic bar both the facets of the coin should develop by contributing each other often we speak about deteriorations increase in the quantity cannot be set as an excuse for decrease in the quality customs practices and principles should be imbibed from the profession itself the great traditions and values need to be imbibed from those who let the torch inheritance of those values and traditions no doubt has proven to be inevitable intelligence should give way to wisdom which should prevail upon emotions it should be the brain which needs to work in our personalities not the blood judicial officers are ju judicial officers also need to be more matured in their attitude the good old days of meaningful relationship between the bar and the bench needs to be restored community of lawyers need to be accepted as an integral part of the system the lawyers fraternity should also realize that they need to work for existence of the system the ultimate existence of the system and the confidence and faith which it commands from the society is the most crucial factor which decide upon our own individual existence each one of us should rededicate to those valuable objectives without selflessness and without selfishness only in such a situation the most acclaimed judicial system in the god's own country could survive for generations in order to uphold the sovereignty and integrity of our great nation with the protection ensured to its democracy secularism and socialism on this moment of parting i thought i could share some of the above views being a person of optimistic and keeping positive thinking in my life even though i never expected of becoming a lawyer in my life destiny drove me here but after i entered into the judicial system i realized that i am destined and blessed by the god almighty for being in this profession the great traditions in the profession of law fascinated me very much the values morals and ethics entangled to the profession of law gave me an insight that your life is destined as a protector of many that realization led me to dedicate myself for discharging the social obligations when i was recommended to the next phase of my life the above said awareness in me became more sharper and refined during my tenure as a judge all my attempts were to nurture those values in me with more awareness about the constitutional obligations and about the need to protect the personal rights and liberties of the citizens of this country how far i could succeed in this endeavor it is for you to judge but today i am demitting office with the great satisfaction that i could do justice to the cause to the best of my ability in the endeavor to protect those obligations and to keep the values morals and ethics to the best of my conscience 
in my tenure as a lawyer and as a judge of this court i got support and encouragement from many when i was elevated as a judge of this court my parents were not with me to witness the fortune they are the real mentors who groomed me to this level my siblings who are all elder to me are still alive the support and encouragement from them and from their spouses were very valuable my wife nasira my son feroz and my daughters faslin and farhana were pillars of support in my life and in my career the sacrifice they sacrificed many things which they could have normally expected from me my son in law dr azir azhar navin salim and my daughter in law fatima lulu are the real gifts of god almighty to our family the god almighty was also merciful in blessing us with the two new members in our family dua feroz daughter of my son and fayat navin salim son of my daughter the gurus in my profession senior advocate sri t m mohammad yusuf and his wife advocate aisha yusuf had rendered great encouragement and support to me in shaping my career as a lawyer the partners and junior colleagues in my independent practice rendered very valuable support the advocate general with whom advocates general with whom i worked as gown leader and senior gown leader late sri mb kurup late sri s narayanan poti and late sri m ratna singh were so con considerate and encouraging to me <coughs> the collegium which recommended my name honorable mr justice hl datu honorable mr justice jb koshi and honorable mr justice kurian joseph need mention with great gratitude as a judge of this court i worked with eminent chief justices like justice sr benur mak Justice Jasti Chalameshwar, Justice Manjula Chelu, Justice Ashok Bhushan, Justice Mohan M. Chandran Gowder, Justice Navanidhi Prasad Singh, and Justice Rishigesh Roy. They were all supporting me greatly. The present Chief Justice, Honorable Mr. Justice S. Mani Kumar, is more than a brother, friend, and well-wisher to me. He reposed confidence on me with respect to many matters relating to the administration, both of this court. and of the subordinate courts all my sister and brother judges were so affectionate and loving to me the registrar general sri k haribal and his team of registrars were supporting me all along in my official and personal matters the protocol officer sri r ashok and his team were very efficient and helpful throughout my tenure in taking care of the journeys of myself and my family members the public relation officer sri t s arun and his assistants were very prompt in rendering all requisite services including attendance to the medical needs of myself and my family members i express deep felt gratitude to each one of them i was holding the post of president of the board of governors in the kerala state mediation and conciliation center as well as in the kerala judicial academy I was the chairman of the Kerala State Legal Services Authority. Sri Arvind Babu P K, who is the present Law Secretary of the State Government, was the director of the Mediation Centre and the member secretary of Kelsa worked with me in the past. Sri K P Isar Ahmed, the present member secretary of the of the Kelsa, and Sri Johnny Sebastian, the present director of the Mediation Centre, were really helpful to me in coordinating the activities. Sri K P Sudhir. and srimadhi s sudha the director and the additional director at the time when i was in charge of the judicial academy were very supportive and helpful in achieving good developments i express my deep felt gratitude and sincere thanks to all the persons mentioned above my private secretaries srimadhi p m nabisa and srimadhi l usha my personal assistants srimadhi beena oke and srimadhi preeti p nayar and sri antony mg were highly efficient loyal and supportive in my career my court officers shrimati sheela kumari ab and shrimati nisha b were very prompt and efficient in assisting me in controlling the court proceedings my personal office assistants sri ashogan b sri vs ns and sri suresh kumar pm were all along rendering sincere and efficient services to me 
the office attendants deputed to my backlog sri abdul salam sri y sanal kumar sri jijumon anthony sri aji cr and sri aji kumar pk were more than our family members my personal security officers sri pm mujib sri rajesh r and sri afsal mk were highly obedient and dutiful chauffeurs of my official car sri shibu ck and sri benson d matthew have rendered tireless services all of them deserve sincere gratitude and appreciation the part time supers who worked in my banglaw shrimadi ashira shrimadi sina shrimadi shamina and shrimadi ramla kk were much helpful all along the gardeners shri alex and shrimadi molji have rendered good services before parting with i may say that during my tenure as a judge of this court i made all sincere attempts to be cordial loving and considerate considerate to all those who had occasion to interact with me both officially and personally including the lawyers who appeared before me despite this if i had created any bitter feelings to anybody on any occasion due to any of my acts or expressions i express my deep felt regrets and tender my apologies i may say that i had only joyful moments and memories to be carried on from here to the rest of my life i do <clears throat> i do not feel that i am aged and unhealthy for an active life if the god almighty permits i will be active in my roles in the post retirement life also i beg to each one of you to be considerate to show me the warmthness love and affection which now you are showering upon me in the days ahead also let the god almighty shower his his choicest blessing on each one of you thanking you jai hind lots now the program is complete uh can i just give it to justice uh, mustaq yes sir yes sir yes, sir. yes. one minute sir is just owning the mic justice mustaq yes 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 sir is coming Yes. 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 Uh, yes. Sir, uh, uh, as as program, I think we can uh, complete this particular program of farewell. And uh, so far as the individual's opinion, as discussed earlier. Something, something we cannot. Yes. Yeah.